Hello there. Welcome to section 3. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do in this section. So in this section, we're gonna be building from scratch and security IoT solution. The idea of this IoT security solution is in a specific space, you want to be able to detect motion when it happens, you want to be able to detect the ambient light when it happens, and you want to send an email when a motion happens, and also you want to show the location of the motion and the light in a nice dashboard. So this is the IoT solution which we are going to build in this section. In this specific video, we're going to first start with a quick demo to get you guys excited. Also, we're going to see what are the components needed. Let's take a look at the demo. So this is the dashboard which we have. And as you can see that we have a radial. This is showing the intensity of light. And we have a dialog box which is saying whether motion is detected or not. And also there's a map which tells you where the motion is happening. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press a button on my IoT solution simulating a motion and it's going to change a couple of things. And in the process, I'm also going to hide the sensor for the light and the radial will show the same. All right, let's get started. Now I'm pushing the motion sensor button and you see that now it should tell you that alert motion is detected. Now I'm also going to hide the sensor, the LDR, and you can see that the gauge just went down. There you go. Now if I let go of the motion sensor and the LDR sensor, you see that the gauge went back up and now it's saying that there is no motion. And of course the map is showing where the motion is happening. Now the best part is the email notification which I'm getting here if I can open this real quick and it says motion has been detected. So this is really really useful of course you can change the message, the subject and whatnot and of course you can send it to multiple recipients and so on. This is an extremely useful feature to build in your IoT solution. Alright so as I pressed it multiple times it will send you per motion change an email. What we're going to do now is we're first going to see how this behaves when I change the location and then I'm going to actually show you the setup and the components needed. All right, let's pull up the code now. All right, so this is the code and now what I'm going to do specifically is just change the location which is hard coded. Now let's upload this to the device. This is going to take some time. All right, looks like it has been completed successfully. Now, don't worry about the code. We're going to go through step by step. Now, let's go and check if everything is looking good. So, I'm going to open my serial monitor and you see that it is publishing values and we don't have any crazy messages or anything which you're not expecting. All right, let's go to the platform and see how this looks like. I'm going to go back to my Thingworks platform and I'm going to go and say view mashup. Okay. And as you can see, now already it's showing the new location. So I'm going to also show you how this looks in a full view. Now you see that the location has changed. So what are we simulating is of course you can have a bunch of these IoT devices spread across the world and each would have hard coded its location which is latitude and longitude. So obviously once it publishes to your platform then you will understand which device or which location is coming from. Now let's try again by pressing on the motion button and you will see that now it's going to say in a second that motion detected and if I let go it's going to say no motion. It takes a second or two because you're going to publish the values in a specific interval. Now the same goes to the LDR if I hide it you see that it's going to change the radio. There you go. Now if I move my hand in a couple seconds depending on what's the delay you're gonna see the values are gonna be published and of course you have email saying that the motion has been detected there you go perfect now this can be an actual solution for a company which wants to detect a certain kind of a activity in a certain location based on certain constraints now let's take a look at the circuit setup 
So here we have the Node MCU which is connected to my computer via micro USB. And then we have the button here. And then we have the LDR sensor. We're basically reading the button value and the LDR value. And then we are pushing this to the IoT ThingWorks platform. The, now the exact connection we're going to be seeing in the next video. Now let's take a look at the components needed. So obviously we need a breadboard, you need a Node MCU version 1.1. I'm sure we have a micro USB cable. You're going to need an LDR 12mm, doesn't matter. You can also use a smaller one. You need a button or a motion sensor, both do exactly the same. Motion sensor also gives you a high value and the button also does the same. So just to keep things under controlled complexity, we're using a button. You can also use a motion sensor. You also need some jumper wires, male to male, about 20 should be good. I hope you're excited looking at the demo. Throughout the section, we're going to see step by step how to build this IoT solution.